Yes, today I get to share with you these creamy sous vide little potatoes. They're one of the best sous vide side dishes for parties and events and just when you're cooking a sous vide steak dinner. And today I'm gonna take you actually into my kitchen to see behind the scenes. I was doing a little bit of a photo shoot for Oregon Home Magazine when I was last making these sous vide little potatoes. And I'm gonna show you that recipe today. So join me in my kitchen, let's do it. To make these little sous vide potatoes, all you need is one pound of the little potatoes. Um, they're about two to three inches. They usually come in different colors and I don't know about you, but every time I see them in the grocery store, I want to get a bag even if I have no recipe to make that week. So this is a perfect recipe for that. And um, so you need to wash the little potatoes and cut off any imperfections and you can leave the skin on, I generally do, or you can peel them, but they're so small, they're pretty difficult to peel. Um, anyways, you also need some unsalted butter olive oil garlic rosemary salt pepper and fresh thyme so what you do is you add potatoes butter olive oil garlic rosemary salt and pepper to a sous vide bag and all of the ingredients can kind of mix there or you can mix them ahead of time in a bowl and then you can vacuum seal the ingredients into a flat layer and you sous vide them for 60 minutes now you could also use a ziploc bag but I find the vacuum sealing technique makes it easier to meal prep these sous vide little potatoes and besides sous vide meal prep it just helps them cook more evenly because they're in a flat layer whereas if they're in a ziploc bag they could move around quite a bit so again you sous vide little potatoes for 60 minutes at 190 degrees fahrenheit Once they're done, you preheat the broiler to high and re you remove potatoes from the sous vide bag and you can transfer them right onto a baking sheet. I usually line mine in parchment paper and then you broil on high for about five minutes until they start to crisp. And then you can plate them and sprinkle them with fresh thyme. I really think any fresh herb really tastes good on little potatoes or any potatoes for that matter, but I love having my arrow garden on hand and I usually get some fresh thyme from there. The thing is, you don't even actually have to broil them to finish. You could just eat them right out of the bag. They're really delicious, kind of similar to other sous vide side dishes like asparagus or corn, but I don't know, something about having the crinkly skin of the sous vide little potatoes potatoes it looks so good on a plate and I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit behind the scenes I made these uh, along with the sous vide steak dinner it was a complete sous vide meal from asparagus to potatoes to the steak and um, it was really delicious and you can check that out at OregonHomeMagazine.com Dripping in barbecue, this sous vide pulled pork recipe for 24 hours is perfect for making sous vide pork tacos, pulled pork sandwiches, and lettuce wraps. Use a simple barbecue rub and try the reverse sear technique to get a tasty bark on that sous vide pulled pork. I can't wait for you to try this recipe. For more delicious sous vide recipes and easy recipes you can make at home so it feels like you're eating at a restaurant, check out SipBiteGo.com and the SipBiteGo YouTube channel. I have so many tasty things coming your way. Well, I hope you're thoroughly inspired to go ahead and don't resist picking up a bag of the little potatoes when you pass them by in the grocery store because in just an hour, the result of the sous vide process leaves the potatoes tender and evenly cooked. Well, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers! Oh, and don't forget to check out another one of my sous vide videos.